Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've been gone forever. I've been on a little bit of an uploading hiatus. I was having a lot of technical issues. If you follow me on Instagram, you know all about this. I basically ended up getting a new camera, new microphone, new setup, and I just went through the works trying to get it up and running and working perfectly with video quality and audio quality and SD cards breaking and all sorts of crazy stuff. But I feel like I finally maybe got a decent setup going. I'm still working on it. We're still learning the equipment, but I do feel like I've learned a lot about it since I had to go through all this. Countless Best Buy appointments. But anyway, I have a new review for you. This is a fragrance that I just got in the mail. I was interested to try because it's a vintage fragrance. It's been around forever. And for some reason, I just, I hear people talk about it a lot. I'm in a bunch of like fragrance chat rooms and things like that. And, and this is one that always comes up. It's like a very, very popular male fragrance. So I was really excited to try it. And so I picked up a bottle of it on Amazon and this is Versace Blue Jeans. Now this is the Eau de Toilette, basically pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, it's been around forever. It was launched in 1994. So it's actually older than I am. It just comes in this kind of like cool vintage looking tin. And then when you open it up, this is what the bottle looks like. Very interesting. It has all the Versace icons on here. And it's just a very simple bottle. It kind of reminds me of like the Wild West, like an old black and white movie in the text here. So basically what this is is just a very, very nice, light, citrusy, woodsy scent. This is actually a pretty complex fragrance for the price. I believe I paid $25 for this and I even saw it at Marshall's or Ross or something like that for $20. So super cheapy. Everyone goes crazy about this. I read a ton of reviews on this online. And like I said, I hear other reviewers talking about it. People in chat rooms going crazy for this. So I'm really excited to see what the hype is about. Like I said, it's a very complex fragrance. It has a ton of notes like citruses, bergamot, basil and rose, lavender, but it also has some like woodsy notes, has some sandalwood, patchouli, has some vetiver in there. Like there's just a million notes in this fragrance. So I'll insert them. A lot of people also described it as smelling like Coca-Cola. Okay, two sprays. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I'm expecting this. I knew this was coming because I read it online that the first scent that you smell is just citrus cleaner, like lemon, hotel room, bathroom cleaner. And it is like right off the top. It just smells insanely artificial. But I heard online that you need to be patient with this one. The dry down smells like Coca-Cola and more of the woodsy notes come out. So I'm gonna give this a second. I mean, just right off the top, what I'm smelling, it smells like a very... <sighs> I know that a lot of older guys like this just because it's kind of like nostalgic for them, but it definitely feels younger. And a lot of people I read online uh, mentioned that this was like one of their first ever fragrances. So it's like, like I said, it's nostalgic for them. So um, brings back memories of like their childhood and their teenage years. <laughs> it's fine, you know, it's it's very, very lemony. Like that's pretty much all I'm getting right now is just straight up lemon. And I don't know if this, <sighs> there's a little bit more of a fruitiness to it. Like there is some depth, but I just, I need it to dry down a little, but it definitely smells like a good daytime summer fragrance. And no matter what I say about this, at the end of the day, like for the price, it's kind of a no brainer. Like if you're looking for a really good summertime cheapy, this is a good one. So as it dries down, it's starting to become a little more woodsy. A lot of the basil, it's like a little green, green mixed with some woodsies. And I do understand um, people saying that it smells like Coca-Cola. I definitely get that kind of like soda cola-y vibe from it. Overall, the consensus on this fragrance is that the longevity and the sillage and everything is just moderate. It's okay performing. It's not, you know, like an over the top, long lasting powerhouse fragrance. It's not gonna have a crazy scent trail, which it's fine. You know, like I said, for the price, you can pick this up at TJ Maxx, Ross, anything like that for $20. So yeah, I mean, I guess my my impression of it is it's good. <laughs> I can't say too many bad things and I can't say too many amazing things. I mean, I, I'm not in love with the fragrance. I, to me, it just smells like very artificial, which is to be expected, you know, for the price point. But I think it just all depends on the person. You all know that it's kind of hard to 
completely judge your fragrance based on a test strip. You have to smell it on your skin. It'll smell different on basically everyone and how you know the fragrance reacts with your skin's chemistry. And it's definitely a likable DNA. It's very mass appealing. I don't think you can go wrong with this. I think it's a good summertime fragrance that, you know, it'll get you, might get you some compliments, might not. It's, I don't think it's the most unique thing in the world. I think the basil note adds a nice kind of like coolingness to it, like a nice, it's a little more cooling, that kind of green note in this. I think it really kind of pulls it all together, mixed with the woodsier notes and all the citrus at the top. So definitely try this out. You got nothing to lose. <laughs> if anything, you just have a cool bottle in your collection, which is kind of my logic for picking it up. Great logic, right? <laughs> I think I definitely am going to need to hire like a financial advisor because I keep buying fragrances. <laughs> I can't stop. Someone please take my credit card. Anyway, I think that this is great. It's vintage. It's been around for a long time. Obviously, you know, Versace has been continuing making it for a reason. It's very popular. And I think that if you're looking for a great, easy, everyday summer daytime fragrance, definitely try Versace blue jeans. So that's my little first impressions review. Leave a comment below what you think about Versace blue jeans. And also leave a comment what your first fragrance was. Since I saw a lot of people saying that this was one of their first ever fragrances. I'm curious to know what yours is. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.